So, you guys have an interesting concept. Uh, you're basically designing a car on the internet with users on the internet. Uh, I guess you call the concept crowdsourcing. Tell us about how Local Motors works. Look, I'm going to start a car company, but I could do it two ways. I could either build a better mousetrap, I could build a better car, which would be really hard, and it costs a gazillion dollars to do it, and so you need to make a gazillion cars to justify sell it, spending that gazillion dollars. Or you could take a less obvious approach, which is to build a better process. A better process for connecting with customers, a better process for connecting with innovation and bringing it into your uh, product, your end product, something that you sell to people. And, uh, and to consistently make better cars. You, uh, how does an open source car work? And, and again, just because you can make an iPhone, what makes you think you can make a hot rod? The most important thing for an open source car company is sort of what we do and what we don't do. What we don't do is we don't design cars by committee. We design cars by picking the most exciting and in aggressive uh, technologies and designs around the world. And uh, we host design competitions that use prize-based innovation to come and bring people to our website. We have, in one year, 44,000 shared designs on our website of some of the coolest cars you've ever seen. And we have 3,600 innovators that come and talk about cars. If you want to talk about innovation, we like to talk about real products that get made and get delivered out. I have no problem with SaaS. I have no problem with software development in general. But I wanted to see if uh, the Creative Commons license could be apl applied to things that had real marginal cost. <laughs> We're breaking down that wall uh, that exists right now in the current automotive manufacturing model between design and engineering where it's like design uh, comes up with a concept, they throw it over the wall. Now engineering has to deal with that to try to make it manufacturable, but we're going to kind of smash that wall down through a constant volley back and forth between designers, engineers, and enthusiasts to determine what's cool, what people want, what they don't want, uh, and what's manufacturable. In our house, we have open source design and development, which in this audience, again, would not be something that would be a new thing to talk about. But just for a second, the so what here is as we run competitions, we get more meaningful gas pedals, we get more meaningful pocketbook holders, and we get more meaningful lights to stick on the roof. We get more meaningful cars. The bottom line is that we have proven that Creative Commons can work in a manufacturing concept, and we're just at the beginning of this. But don't get in our way, because we're going to steamroll you if you think it doesn't work. This is a great idea. This is going to get people to buy the car they want. It's almost like Burger King. Have it your way. You know, whatever car you want, you come, you build it. That's the neatest part. You get to build your own car. There is a reason we have one of the senior executives here, formerly of Harley-Davidson, and there's a reason why Harley-Davidson paper has performed better than GM, because when you make a promise to yourself about your lifestyle and what you're going to do, you tend to pay it off more than if it was just a utilitarian decision, something to get from point A to point B. So it's central to what we do. We want you to cut your knuckles a few times when you come down. We want you to bring your child and promise to give them the car after graduation. You want all of these things. No, somebody came onto our community and said, I would never buy one of your car, it's going to have a terrible resale value. A Honda will beat you any day of the week. And I didn't even have to answer the question because one of our community members came in and said, look, if the car didn't run and it was a rusted bucket of bolts in the back of my yard, you could pry it out of my hands over my cold, dead body if I made it with my son. 